Um, at Conair, we use desiccant wheel technology from one pound an hour all the way up to 5,000 pounds an hour. So if you can use a small dryer, you can also use a big dryer. But before we talk about what desiccant wheel dryers are, let's talk about what they are not. Um, older, more traditional technology called twin tower or desiccant bed technology uses two independent canisters of densely packed clay beads. One canister, or let's in this case call it a sponge, is absorbing moisture, and the other sponge is being wrung out. And these two canisters work in tandem, cycling back and forth. While this is a very common way to dehumidify air, it's actually used in other industries, like after an air compressor, for instance, it has some glaring issues when it's used in the plastics processing industry. First and foremost, those beads actually break down. So as you use them, you heat them, you cool them, maybe they're fouled up with dust, volatiles, or oil, they'll lose their effectiveness. So as they lose their effectiveness, you may have to work harder to get the same output that you had when the dryer was brand new. You may have to regen more frequently, or you might have to regenerate the desiccant at higher temperatures in order to get the same output. Also, because of this heating and cooling effect, the clay binder tends to break down. This forms a clay or desiccant dust in the bed, and as you pass air across it, you're actually carrying that desiccant dust with you back into your plastics process. That may or may not be an issue for you. I'll let you guys decide. And lastly, because they break down, these beads actually need to be replaced regularly. It might be a year, it might be two years. If you stretch it, it could be three. But you're signing up to have to do this scheduled maintenance on regular intervals. Secondly, like I said, these beads are densely packed. And because they're densely packed, they impede the airflow. A good example of this might be is if you take a straw and you put it in a glass of water and you try to blow bubbles. Pretty easy. Take that same straw, dip it into a chocolate milkshake. The milkshake's a lot thicker, it resists the airflow, you have to blow a lot harder. That extra force that you need is power. Um, so these blowers are actually going to have higher horsepower in order to maintain the same airflow that you can get from a Conair blower. In some cases, they're two or even three times as large because of that back pressure caused by these densely packed large beds of beads. Also, switching from bed to bed can cause swings in your dew point. So this is a change in the process. And one thing I like to say is if the process is stable, the product is stable. And with this kind of technology, you're signing up for a change. So as you go from one wet bed to a dry bed, you'll see a dramatic dip in dew point. And then as that bed collects moisture, your dew point will rise and rise over time. In order to combat this, sometimes twin tower dryers will implement an extra valve where they bleed return air back into the system. Now, this seems like a good idea and it can work to an extent, but it's more complexity. It's extra pieces, it's extra parts, it's more to maintain, it's more to control, and it's more to go wrong. Not very simple. And then finally, these clay beads are a huge mass, they're well insulated, and they have a very low surface area. So what this actually means for you, higher regeneration temperatures. So a twin tower dryer may regenerate their desiccant between 500 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only is this a lot of energy, but it's also very hard on the system. So heating things at that temperature can be difficult for seals, valves, heaters, and other parts in your system. Think about highway miles versus city miles. A desiccant wheel dryer is just set it and forget it, turn it on, it keeps chugging away, no change. A twin tower dryer is like slamming on the gas and then slamming on the brakes at every red light. That's a little bit harder on your industrial equipment, just like it's harder on your vehicle.